Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Gemini friends and friends of Gemini. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So all messages here are timeless. Please know that you're here at exactly the time you were meant to, to receive this message. If any of these other messages do call your name, I encourage you to take a look. There is something there for you to see or hear. So Gemini, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, what came through was the Aries symbol and then it was crossed out. So we did just switch over here into Taurus season. Um, so Aries season is over, yes. <clears throat> but um, what came through after that was um, the end of passion is also the beginning. So I feel like there's something that um, ended is ending will end surrounding a passion project, something that lit your heart up. Uh, could be a person, could be a hobby, an event happening. <clears throat> in this ending, though, 111 on the timer. In this ending, though, I do feel like there is a lot of disappointment. Um, but remembering that when there is an ending, there is also something starting. There is a new beginning as well. Okay, Gemini. So let's get into your message here in the tarot. See where this goes. I'm going to start here with the Fortuna deck. So Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? And shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited and delighted to have you on my, on my team here. If you are interested in becoming a member yourself, there's a join button right next to the subscribe button under this video and also on my main page. So you can check that out there. If you're interested in private readings, there is a link in the description of this video. You can check out my website. Okie dokie. Um, and please, if this message does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it, you guys. Um, I couldn't do this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There have been some things going on with the algorithm, I guess. There are some other readers that are experiencing some difficulty right now as far as um, things getting pushed back. Um, so hey, you guys, I could use your help right now. Just going to be honest about it. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. My fellow jams, I do love you. Okay, so Prince of Keys here at the bottom. This is your hopes and dreams. Prince of Keys here is um, Knight of Swords. So I feel like you guys are hoping for, <laughs> you're hoping for things to get moving. I'm just feeling this energy of, uh, and I'm Gemini too, so I'm feeling it, you guys, <laughs> of things are just like not moving. And we're here going, what in the hell, right? <clears throat> we are a very quick moving energy as well mercurial af <laughs> and we are still here in mercury retrograde so having that energy retrograde right now is not our favorite it's just not i just feel like this hope here this dream the dream that you're dreaming right now is that things will get its ass, ass moving right <laughs> that's how i feel and i can relate <laughs> so hang in there jam um let's see what else we have here additional messages this is the this may hurt tarot so Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? And this is a general message, 333 on the timer as well. You guys already have so many synchronicities, my goodness. Um, 333 on the timer here, Ace of Pentacles at the split. So I do feel like there are new opportunities that are coming forward, just like in meditation, having a passion end means that there's also an opportunity for a passion to begin. So don't be sad for too long. Um, General message, yes, you are extremely intelligent, Gemini. You are also a powerful co-creator here. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind for who it's meant for. Um, check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart. You are a complex story. You are more than your sun sign, and I encourage you guys to take a look, okay? So in your fear, aversion, anxiety, you have king of wands. Um, I do get this feeling of like, especially because there is this energy of something ending, um, this is a very like leadership, um, powerfully creative, um, courage kind of energy here, the courage to lead. I feel like there is a little bit of apprehension towards getting back up and trying something again, or even just maintaining course on something. Um, seeing something through because it does feel like something came apart and whatever that was that came apart or will be coming apart um, 
it was meant to be that way is what I'm getting. It's not anything that you did or anybody else did. It is simply a natural flow of life, uh, of what's going on energetically for you right now. So be not afraid. Don't scream, human. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Um, general energy to start. You guys have the high priestess. So um, high priestess is the unconscious realm. This is the Divine Feminine as well. Um, I feel like in this situation, whatever it is that has ended or whatever it is that you're going through, um, there is knowledge. There is something attached to the situation that is being asked to be seen. Um, my nose just started itching hard. <laughs> um Yes, I feel like there is something that you're not quite seeing in a situation, but the intention of all of this happening was for you to see something. Let's explore that a little bit further. Two Pentacles comes in here. So balance. I do feel like this is a message of um, what goes up must come down. Yes, what goes down must come up. It's the, um, it's the turn of the wheel, but um, I feel like a part of this lesson or what is being shown to you here is um what's coming through is don't put all your eggs in one basket but i don't not quite don't count your chickens before they hatch <laughs> uh to diversify your passion portfolio <laughs> um there is a natural flow and cycle to things uh like with the the two of pentacles here what is up will come down what is down will come up I do feel like there is a request to um, balance a little bit more like playtime. Um, this passion that I'm feeling was coming through in the meditation that's talking about ending is um, I feel like it was less about having fun. Like um, did your inner child have a place at the table, that, that passion table, or was it um, all business is kind of what I'm getting. That's interesting. Can we get a little bit more information on this, please, Spirit? Um, what is the knowledge that's needed here for Gemini? Can we talk about that? Why the High Priestess? The Hangman. <laughs> uh, yeah, to see something from a different perspective. And um, with this passion being snuffed out or ending, whatever that is, um, I do feel there is this feeling of, um, well, we talked about that in your hope. You're hoping for things to get moving here with the Prince of Keys. The hangman comes with a period of delay, typically. And I feel like that is what has been going on for you guys. King of Pentacles here at the bottom. I feel like a part of this lesson, what's coming through is, um, is generosity. Like generosity with your wealth, towards your wealth. Almost like this faucet of passion, whatever this was was shut off because there wasn't an appreciation for it. I know I said, you know, it's not that you did anything wrong. I don't even think that it's that was doing something wrong too. I feel like the point of this faucet coming on and off is to show you appreciation in general. Yeah, to have appreciation for what it is that you do create, what you do have. Okay, so good stuff here. Let's move into the good stuff. You have six of elixirs come through here. Uh, six of cups. So kind of back to that inner child, you guys. I feel like <laughs> your inner child here is is um, maybe they didn't have a seat at the table. Whatever this passion project was, whatever it was that you were um, doing, were, were you doing, was there heart in it? Was it passion or was it greed? Mm, interesting. Okay. Why were you doing something? Interesting. I feel like your inner child here is coming up and has something to say. What do you need to say, little little buddy? <laughs> Queen of Wands here as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Queen of Wands here as well. So I feel like the message that your inner child is bringing forward here is one of clarity towards creativity. Whatever this passion was like i said the the passion that's ending it feels like it was not pure what is the word i'm looking for 
there was like a there's a tainted energy surrounding it. There's something about the reason that you were participating in this passion in the first place. Is it because it was a true passion? Is it because you're doing it because you thought you needed to? You were doing it because there was a drive for money only, you know, there was a drive for love only. Like, I just feel like there's this component of the inner child that was not taken into consideration surrounding whatever this passion was. And the intention of this period for you guys is to assimilate those energies rather than have them be um, separate, right? Can we get some more information here on the good stuff for, um, for Gemini? The lovers comes through. Which is your card. Temperance here as well. Uh, balance and flow. Harmony. Sagittarius also. I feel like there is um, this approach. Whatever this passion was, was not a balanced approach. Whatever that means for you. It was either taking too much um, of your waking time. You weren't spending enough time resting. You weren't spending enough time playing. You weren't spending enough time loving, appreciating. There was something that was off balance about this. So the lover's... Um, I do feel like this this is coming into balance as you are in this pause mode here. And maybe something isn't fully ending either. It's just like requesting some attention to revamp the approach, whatever it is that um, you're working towards on that. But whatever it is, it wasn't like <laughs> you're building a table that needed four legs with only three <laughs> because you're trying to save time. That's kind of what's coming through. Okay, so this is an opportunity here for you to um, kind of go back in time and, and start over even, knowing what it is that you know now. Hmm. Ooh, I like that. An opportunity to take another, another go at something. Um, I don't feel like, because I'm inclined to say, oh, it could be love, you know, it could be possibly someone from the past. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, things do end chapters close for a reason um what i feel more so though is being able to go back because my left ear is ringing here so something more like interior work being able to go back and experience um, a relationship again from a different angle not maybe literally but going through the process of your own light and dark in that experience and being able to see um and experience something much different. That's kind of the gift that's coming through here with the Six of Cups too, is an opportunity to have another go at something. And although you may not, a job, you know, person, whatever this is, you may not actually be in it again, um, going through and shifting your perspective on something is allowing you some confidence, is allowing you some peace of mind, some peace of heart even, I feel like. Hmm. Cool. I'll take that. That sounds great. <laughs> um, so let's look at what is hiding here in the dark, what you don't see coming. <clears throat> the underlying message here. So seven of keys. Seven of swords. Typically like um, a sneaky energy, theft and betrayal. Um, it is also strategy, being cunning, being diplomatic, doing only what is necessary. So... I feel like kind of back to that meditation too, with the passion ending or the knowledge here that's, that's asking to be seen with the hangman and the high priestess um, and the two pen, two of pentacles in the general, like taking only what is needed or doing only what is needed. Um, that could be a part of why this passion thing didn't work out. Um, you could have been overshooting it or undershooting it. Um, I feel like for more of you, it's more like undershooting it. You may have been approaching it. Mm, you may have been approaching it like it wasn't a passion. Like you're saying it's a passion, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, and the universe here, God, goddess, whomever, whatever, them ever, you know, um, they know the truth. And your heart knows the truth, too. So I feel like there is this pause going on right now for you to take a second to reevaluate. Are you are you even telling the truth for yourself? <laughs> Was this a passion, right? 
that ended. And this could be a job. It could be um, anything, a relationship, the way that you're navigating your own experience here. This is an opportunity to reevaluate um, what is your passion, to strategize a way to actually get to what your passion is. Hmm? Six of Wands, yeah, recognition. Totally, you guys. I feel like that is exactly what we're talking about here. What may seem like a passion project ending or not working out is actually giving you an opportunity here to recognize what it is that you are passionate about. There have been a lot of changes. <laughs> Ch -ch 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 changes um, with the eclipse season. A lot of illuminations coming through. And I would imagine, especially as a Gemini, <laughs> things are constantly changing, right? Um, I feel like especially moving into Gemini season with Jupiter moving into Gemini on the 24th of May, um, there is an opportunity for like lucky growth, expansion. Um, and I feel like this is a time right now that is priming the pump, so to speak, is allowing you to kind of shift gears. So if something is coming to a close or is looking like it's not working out for you for whatever reason, um, I would take this opportunity to like, you know, if you need to grieve over something, that's okay. But to also try to look for um, why this may be happening or what ask for more direction on where am I being, where am I being guided beyond here then? If this isn't it, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Um, anything else here for Gemini and what's hidden? What do they need to keep their eye out for? The devil. <laughs> you need to keep your eye out for your own shadow. <clears throat> um, I do kind of get like a, a neuroses kind of feeling from this. Like, well, I mean, if you're anything like me, I am Gemini sun, Virgo rising, Virgo moon. So um, I can get pretty anal retentive about things, especially like information a lot of the time, even to the point of being obsessive. If I'm trying to figure something out within myself, um, I can get further away from the goal by obsessing over it than closer, which is the intention. And that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Allowing this to flow a little bit. There is a flow already set in motion is what I'm getting. You're being shown where your true passions actually are. And at the same time, you're being shown um, where your shadow needs a little bit more love, a little bit more light. Okay. So your challenge in this situation, you have two of keys. Moon and Libra. <laughs> Balance. Uh, needing to make a decision. You had uh, the lovers here too. Being at a crossroads. Needing to make a decision. So... I feel like this is the difficulty. Whatever is ending, whatever is um, showing that it needs to shift, I feel like like with the eggs all in one basket, this may be a situation where you even told yourself, like, this is this was my last um, hoorah, you know? <laughs> this was my Hail Mary, so to speak. Um, if this isn't going to work out, then I don't know what else there is. That, I feel like, is the devil obsessive quality that is coming through that you may not see um, as a pattern shutting you down. Like, I feel like we're just this close to figuring out what is the next step for me? Um, or even just realizing or understanding that there's always going to be a next step. Like there is not ever a final destination. I think there were like three movies, weren't there? <laughs> it's not ever just one. <laughs> Um, 911 there on the timer too. Asking for help, I feel like is important when we feel lost. Um, there was a glyph that I, I can't remember which, which, uh, was it Aries? I think it was Aries a little while ago, but it looked, it kind of looked like a little kite. Um, it goes underneath your threshold, like your front doorstep or wherever it is that you exit the house and you say, show me the way as you pass over it. Um, I am... I feel like that would be helpful for you right now is what I'm trying to say. I don't have the glyph here with me, but if you want to dig down into some of the Aries videos, um, they're shown at the beginning. I am going to put uh, an Oracle deck together with all of the symbols and glyphs so that you guys can utilize them. But uh, that I feel like that requesting help right now would be helpful for you 
to show me the way. Um, yeah, Seven of Pentacles comes in here next for your challenge. I do feel like patience is a little tricky <laughs> right now. And, uh, well, damn it if it isn't, right? <laughs> I feel like it is for me. I do feel like there is an abundance that is coming, that is available. Uh, it may not be in the vein, whatever this is that's ending or, or transitioning, changing, whatever, passion-wise. Know that the purpose is to direct you to where you're meant to be. Um, I feel, even me saying that right now, I feel this, like, annoyance coming up inside of me, like... Well, God damn it, if that weren't like always the answer, right? <laughs> always the response. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. What, what's going on? Just be patient. I totally understand. Um, sometimes it is just a shitty response to get. <laughs> but also, um, it never fails. We go back and look at our situation or how something is um, unraveling, and it's always in divine order. Okay, so getting back to a place of trust here, that there is a flow even if you can't see it. How does Gemini approach this obstacle or remove this obstacle? Nine of Wands, stand strong. Resiliency. <laughs> like I was dovetailing off of what I was saying there. I don't want to be patient. Be patient. <laughs> I know you're tired. I know you're beaten down. Um, I do feel like, especially moving into May, things are going to start picking up. King of Cups here is a request to center your emotional experience. Calm it down, Gemini. <laughs> Calm it down. <laughs> you too, Zachary. Okay. Uh, three main pieces of advice for Gemini here, please, Spirit. In these crisis, crisis times. <laughs> ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. So asking for help, like I was saying. Soulmate, the divine will provide you with love when you're ready. So the lovers here, this could be love coming through um having the six of cups there too it makes me feel like there could be somebody coming back from the past um but if that's the case i don't feel like it is to restart something it may be to heal like maybe there was a situation that you both had that broke everyone's heart within a five mile radius <laughs> and this is an opportunity to um to come together even energetically to heal something. Um, it could have been with a soulmate, you know, if that is the broken heart that's involved there. But uh, this passion too, I feel like ending, part of this process could be leading you towards a soulmate too. A forever friend, you know, or soulmate lover, divine lover. Putting in the work action that helps achieve goals, building the path to success. So I feel like that is um, consistency is what comes through on that. To make sure that you are, um, your resolve, your resiliency. Keep putting in the work, even if you're tired. If you have the ability to adjust how much work you're putting into what it is you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, do that. You know what I mean? But don't stop. If you need to walk slower, walk slower, but don't stop walking, okay? It's just so much harder. Like, sometimes we need to stop, too. I get that. I'm not saying it's a failure, but... If we can avoid fully stopping, it's going to be so much easier to pick up momentum again if we're still in motion, okay? So, um, Animal Spirit Oracle here. Messages for Gemini. My Gemini friends. What's going on for Gemini here? What isn't going on for Gemini? What now, Gemini? <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh, yeah, three come out here. Um, so, dolphin, dolphin, buffalo, and deer. Buffalo and deer and a dolphin. So deer is this energy of, um, is present when like uh, um, there is a new birth. It is the uh, mother energy, that peace, peaceful, calm, um, protective energy that surrounds the serenity that surrounds like a new birth. So I feel like this is, um, you are being asked to kind of like temper, you're going through a birth, okay to temper your perception of your experience right now. Mm. <laughs> As the baby being born, if we had memory of it, um, it's pretty chaotic, right? I would imagine it was probably like one of the worst things we've ever gone through, which is one of the reasons why 
it's deleted from our memory. Um, I know it's traumatic for the mother as well, and things can happen that make it more traumatic. So I feel like the encouragement here is to just, is to put into perspective what is going on right now. If something is ending, know that something has to be beginning. Death and rebirth, that's exactly what's going on there. Temper your perspective, okay? The buffalo. This is keeping your eye to the horizon line here. The buffalo, no matter what is in their road, in the road obstacle wise, they remain steadfast. They keep their head up. They keep looking to the horizon on where they're journeying. They know they're going to get there. They have faith in that. The dolphin here, I do actually want to pull this up in the book. I'm sorry. It sounds like, uh, sounds like it's mowing time. <laughs> That'll be fun to, to navigate now that it's getting more summertime here. So dolphin, innately intelligent healer, light, and blessings. I feel like Gemini is a very dolphin energy. The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. Totally a Gemini. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way. I feel like there is something wonderful that is on the way. And that's why the request here is to, um, to temper the perspective of your experience right now. You're going to feel silly. <laughs> You're going to feel silly pouting now based on uh, once what is coming gets here. Okay. I do think it's important to validate our experience. Like, well, I'm bummed out or, you know, if something isn't working out that we really did care about, it's important to validate that, you know, not to dismiss it or try to silver lining it, but um, to not be petulant about it either is important because it feels like a major transition towards a blessing like the dolphins talking about. Um, additional messages here in the archetypes for Gemini, please spirit. <laughs> well, hell yeah, the river, you guys, totally. Major transformation right now. Um, the river, the river is all about, well, transformation too. So the river will take anything sharp and make it smooth. The river will take any pain from you. The river will transform any emotion. You step into the river and you become a new, a new Gemini. So I feel like that's a part of what's happening right now too. We're stepping into the river um, and whatever it is that we're pursuing right now, passion wise, that may be shifting or ending. The reason that's happening is because the river is directing the energy that may be off to where it needs to go towards this blessing that the dolphin's talking about. That's awesome, you guys. <laughs> so don't, don't be afraid, Gemini, okay? Try to, you know, we are the best at dealing with change. Sometimes it can be hard though. Like sometimes we just want comfort too. Um, I do feel like, like baptism, there is this process of, of being washed anew here right now. So temper your perspective on what's going on so that you can receive this blessing because you deserve it, all right? So Gemini, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I am going to move into the extended if you're interested to join me there. There are links in the description. And again, I do have private readings available if you want to check out my website. Um, Cash App and PayPal links are also in the description there. If you feel called to donate and support the channel in that way, thank you guys so, so much. And thank you to those who have. It is truly crucial in the operation of this channel. So I, I very much appreciate it. Um, again, love you, Gemini. Thank you for being here. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Okay. Be well.